So I just did a little video, really, uh, just to sum up my experiences of owning an R5 so far. Obviously a very considerable investment. But before I get into that, I just want to say, what is the content that you want to see? Because I know that there's lots of people out there, clubbing out there, who just want to know what running a car like this is like. Uh, just from the perspective of somebody who's just doing it as their hobby, which most people are. No matter what it is that you drive, all of us are pretty much in the same boat. We're all trying to run a rally car on a budget. And uh, I'm certainly no different. I just happen to have bought one of these cars. Very fortunate to have done so. But what I want to know is, is if you were like me, uh, wanting to know, you know, the realities of running an R5 car and just what that experience is like, you know, what are the specific things that you would like to see uh, me talk about on this channel? Because so far it's just been a bit of a stream of consciousness. Uh, but I want to put it into a more structured thing and I want to give you, the people who are watching this, what it is that you want. Just uh, let me know and I will make sure I cover that. So drop in the comments, make sure you leave a comment and uh, I will then I will cover that in, a, in, in either in a, in a video on of its own or um, if there's a series of different questions which I can cover quite quickly, I will do that as a bit of a Q&A. What I am going to tell you is that my experience of this car so far um, now that I've had a positive experience um, at a rally, so at the weekend, as some of you know, I did the Abingdon rally, had a, had a good finish, we finished second, and uh, that was my first proper outing in this car, really, um, because the previous rally I did was uh, a closed roads rally in Essex, and that didn't end so well because I had an accident, and that was the first outing, but it was probably the trickiest rally I've done in the last, uh, I've done, I think, 51, 52 rallies, and that was definitely one of the hardest, so it wasn't a great start. What I can tell you is that this car at the weekend in bone dry conditions around an airfield, um, a good big airfield, so we're getting like nine mile stages, so you're really getting tucked into some pretty good uh, mileage. Uh, I can tell you that it was an absolute joy to drive. Um, all, all the things you hear about the car, these cars, the hype that surrounds them is not misplaced. They really are that good. Um, it's, it's almost just like you think it and the car will do it. The chassis is so responsive. The braking, people say about the braking, it is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. Um, when I compare it to my Mitsubishi Evo 6, which had phenomenal braking, um, it's almost as though the braking distance is almost halved. It, 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 I don't know if it actually is. I mean, I couldn't tell you. I've not <laughs> obviously measured it in, uh, in meters, but uh, it just seems that you can just, you know, brake so late. Um, you get yourself into a situation whereby you're coming around and around the stage um, and uh, you're just you're leaving it later and later and later and later and uh, it almost seems like the brakes will never the tires will never lock up uh, so it is genuinely they are phenomenal um, the paddle shift on this is incredible it's just makes the car so easy to drive um, if you find yourself in a situation where you have a little bit of oversteer and you've reached the top end of the revs you just click the paddle, it chops up a gear, um, it finds obviously the traction because you're coming in lower down in the rev range and it gets you out of trouble. It, I mean it is genuinely uh, amazing and the downshifts also. So you, if you're under heavy braking and you're coming into a chicane, you hit the downshift and uh, if you get a little bit over exuberant it will just refuse a downshift so there's no possibility of changing down too low a gear and you know over revving the engine and the gearbox and potentially grenading one or the other or both you're not going to do that um it is uh, crazy amazing um but yeah just the feeling in the car it's amazing and uh i think most people look at um what people are doing in these cars and they think you know how could they possibly be going so quickly at the front of the field but if you've got an understanding of chassis control and how to uh, employ weight transfer in a vehicle and you're, and you're a competent you know, a competent driver, um, I think you'd be amazed what results you can get in these cars. They are very, very well um, engineered. What I think um, the likes of M Sport in particular have done is they have produced a very driver-focused car for customers. So I think a lot of the other manufacturers, from what I understand, um, their vehicles, uh, their, their R5 or Rally 2 vehicles are somewhat more developed around factory drivers and I think uh, quite a lot of people jump in them and they either gel with them straight away or they kind of struggle to get to grips with them. These don't seem to do that. 
the Fiesta R5 seems to be something, um, I can't speak about the Mark II, the, 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 the newer version of this, but certainly the Mark I, I think they really hit a sweet spot from what I can see. It seems that, you know, the, uh, the, the average clubman, customer driver can get in these and uh, do very, very well. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty easy to drive, to be fair. And I'm not saying that in a, in a silly way, because, um, you know, clearly they demand respect. And, you know, if you overdo it in these, they will bite. But, um, you know, you, you, I think, you, you know, you can get up to pace pretty quickly in these vehicles. Uh, very, very good indeed. So that's just a really quick video to give you an insight what it's like to drive one of these cars on the stages. Please, if you like what you see, then hit the like button. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon, so that you're notified every time there's an update. I'm going to try and do a video once a week, perhaps a little more, giving you insight as to what's going on with my life as a rally driver on the club and circuit. Living his best life with Buffy. Oh.